Hi, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to customize your map route using Map Route Generator. Open the project and import your map or your image. You can use any map resolution, but I suggest you to use the higher resolution since this project resolution is 4K. Now you can place your map into the composition called your map here. Scale down it if necessary and always remember to switch it to 3D. Open the map animation comp and start the map root generator script. The first thing you need to do is to add the locators on your map. You can add as many locators as you want, simply pressing the add locator button. Once you have placed the locator, you can move it to the desired position and change its name. In this example, I will place four locators for my animation. Now with the multiple selection, select all locators, but keep in mind that the selection order is very important. So for example, if I want to start my travel from Brazil, go through South Africa, then Italy and finish in the United States, the correct selection order will be Brazil, South Africa, Italy, United States. Press the Create Path button and the path will be immediately created. Now, if you want, you can move the handles to adjust the smoothness of the path without changing the position of the points. It is very important to keep in mind that you cannot add intermediate points on the path. When you're satisfied with the result, you can finally press the confirm button and you're ready to customize all the rest. Well, for starters, you could change the altitude and distance of the camera using the corresponding sliders. The current animation uses the follow path method, but if you prefer, you can change the camera animation to rotate around tracker. In this way, the camera will rotate around the tracker for the entire duration of the animation. The third option is the free camera. Using this option, the script algorithm will randomly choose the camera movement. The altitude and distance sliders can't be used because the camera position has been chosen randomly. If you don't like the generated movement of the camera, you can press the Random Seed button for generating a new camera animation. So with Random Seed, you can create unlimited combinations. Remember, if you change the camera animation style and you return back to Free Camera, the camera animation will not be the same of the last one. Another very useful option of Map Root Generator is the possibility of changing the duration of the animation. In this case, for example, if the animation is too fast, you can simply increase the animation duration, replacing the current value. After typing your new value, press the Enter key to confirm it. You can also decide to stop your tracker when it arrives in a location. To do that, simply check the Stop on Point checkbox and set the Stop Duration, then press the Enter key to confirm. As you can see, this text fill informs you about how long has your animation become. Now that the animation is ready, you can modify and add further options. The first one is the tracker style. Here you can select a different tracker or use a custom tracker. For creating a custom tracker, open the trackers folder and then the custom composition. Here you can place your tracker or create it from shape. You just have to be careful to place it in the center of the composition and turn it to 3D. Now go back to the map animation composition and select the custom tracker on the script. If you want to resize the tracker, change its scale from the map animation composition. Otherwise, if you don't want to use a tracker on your animation, 
instead of removing it from the composition, simply hide the layer or leave the custom tracker composition empty and select it on the script. The DOF checkbox enables the depth of field keeping the tracker always on focus. If you're using this project on an older version of After Effects, you could see a sort of artifacts on the focused area. To fix this problem, you have to change the color depth to 32 bits. The dotted path checkbox switch your line path from solid to dotted, and with path color, you can change the color of it. The thickness slider can be used for changing the thickness of the line and with enable shadow you can decide whether to keep or not the shadow below the line and the tracker and adjust the shadow distance with the corresponding slider. At this point you can replace the current locators with a pin, select the locators that you want to change, set the pin style from the menu and press the OK button. Like the tracker, if you want to use your custom pin, you have to open the pins folder and open the custom pin composition. Here you can place or create your pin. If you want to create a horizontal pin, you have to place it in the center of the composition and turn it to 3D. Otherwise, if you want to create a vertical pin, you have to move its anchor point on the base, place it in the center of the composition, turn it to 3D and rotate the X by 90 degrees. In any case, it is very important not to change the size of the pin composition. If you don't want to use a pin on your animation, simply hide the locator layer or leave the custom pin composition empty and select it on the script. If you need to scale it up or down, use the scale property of the layer in the map animation comp and the rotation properties to rotate it, if for example the position of the camera is from the side of the pin. Speaking about the pins, if you want to change the colors, you have to navigate into the pins folder, then open the pin composition that you want to use and select the color control layer. Here you can change colors to create your own style. Let's look at the animation. As you can see, all pins appear at the same time. Probably what you want is that each pin appears when the tracker arrives on the corresponding point. To do that, you just have to slide the pin layer to the correct time position. In addition to the pin, you can also add texts or informations. This template contains 20 different text styles, subdivided into Description tab, Double text line, Image tab and Single text line. You can see a fast preview of these styles opening the text preview composition. Here you can choose the style that you prefer to insert into the animation. Imagine that you want to use for all points the double text line called two texts style 01. While well, open the info tabs folder, then open the double text line subfolder. Here you can find the composition called two texts style 01. 
open it and select the Color Controls layer to customize the colors. Now duplicate this comp pressing Ctrl plus D for PC or Command plus D for Mac in order to have four identical compositions. Start with the first one, replacing the title and the subtitle. Do the same with the other three callouts just created. Go back to the map animation comp and import these callouts into the comp below the tracker layer. Now, with a multiple selection, select one callout and the corresponding locator and press the Connect Info tab with the selected pin. The callout will be placed exactly in the same position of its locator. As for the pins, you can scale or rotate callouts. For example, if you want to place the callout horizontally, you just have to set the X rotation to zero. Otherwise, if you want to rotate the callout on its Y axis, use the Y rotation control. Like the pins, all callouts or info tabs must be moved in the timeline in order to appear when the corresponding pin appears or when the tracker goes through the point. Map Root Generator also allows to place image tabs. Inserting an image is very easy. Open one of the image tab composition, for example the composition called Image Tab Style 05. The grey shapes represents the area where your image will appear, so import your image into the comp and scale and move it in order to cover the grey shape. Now, as you have already done, import the image tab into the animation map composition and connect it to the selected point. Now the animation is ready, so you can choose the intro animation that you prefer. Open the folder called Final Animation, then open one of the available styles for example the comp called Studio. In this intro animation you can also place your logo or an image in the laptop screen, so in order to change it you have to open a composition called Your Logo Here and replace the current image with yours. Before launching Render, you have to set the background under the map, so go back to Map Animation Composition and enable the Studio Background layer. Obviously, if you want to use other intro animations, you have to select the corresponding background. Now, go back again to the Studio Composition, set the end of the work area and add it to the Render queue. If you want to restart the project from scratch, just press the reset button, then you can decide whether to delete everything or keep the locators in their current position. That's all, thanks for watching.